Hey YouTube, it's Sean. Sorry it's been a while since I've so posted anything. I've been real busy. This is what I've been up to video. That's what this video is about, is what I've been up to. I got two generators right here. And two more over there. Been working on them. Uh, this one here, well you remember the Smarter Power, Smarter Tools. Um, it developed a little fuel leak and the carburetor was on goofy, so we fixed that. Not a, it wasn't a big deal, it was maybe 30 minutes, but uh, we got it running good. We're going to start it for you. Pull the choke, turn the engine on, throttle pack laid off, fuel turned on. First pull starter, go fly it. Park throttle on. That turns the spark throttle on, idles down. It's running good. No problems with that. That one there has that little Yamaha MZ80 in it. That, that MZ80 engine in it, real good. Uh, got that wind generator going. Had that for years. And uh, it's a really good runner. It's like the first full starter. It's dryer. there has always been a one full starter. That Yamaha has been too. They both run real well. I'm going to sell them all. Getting the ones I got going. And I got a lot of generators. So I'm going to, I'm going to part way with some. Yeah, last winter was real rough and people were looking for them so I have more than I need so I'm gonna try to part way with them real reasonable prices so let me show you what else we've been up to here that's not all of them I got uh, another tailgater here generator and I got that going Rebuilt the entire top end on it. New piston, new cylinder, new carburetor. Let me see if we can set you up to where we can start her up for you. Without my camera falling off this tripod. Maybe. Stay there. Yeah, my tripod is... Yeah. Just about useless. But, there we go. Stay there. Alright, let's fire her up. Engine switch on. Little choke. Fuel is on. She runs good. Yeah, she runs real good. Wrong with it either. Mm. All right, and this has been the uh, epic battle. We'll show you the next one here. This one here. Sorry about the shake. I got you in my hand now. Let's see if we can get this tripod under control. Hang on one sec. All right, now we're back. Let me pull you back here. This is the gas tank that came off of it, and it's a treat. I'm telling you, this is a treat. 
And I don't think you can see down in there, but it is rot. You might. It is totally rot. And the, the top's got a little sway back problem, too. You just hear that. And uh, we have, seem to have a blowout. Yeah, it shucked a Nike here. It is literally rotted out completely. And I didn't want to buy, spend, uh, I think that I found a couple of them for 70, 70 bucks. And I'm like, man, there won't be any money in it for like, you know, if you're going to sell it, you know. If you're going to keep it and use it, that'd be different. But um, I'm selling this and I'm trying not to, you know, ask the whole, whole lot for them. Since people need them. So I had this plastic tank right here. It's a five gallon, and that's a six gallon. But uh, that's that's been the that's been the battle one a little bit. I got that gas tank off of it. It's off of a Briggs uh, generator. And this is a Champion, and it's a good size. Not not bad, bad. It's uh, I got the cover for that meter, by the way. I took it off because I wanted to take a little Q-tip or something and clean some of the junkies out of it. But uh, that took some uh, super clean, quite a lot of super clean, power washer. Um, let me see what else did we have to do. Oh, oh yeah, we had to retrofit this, which I'm still working on it, to mount the gas tank. These are my mistake holes, which I'm going to um, stitch up with the welder and sand them flat or grind them flat and then repaint this whole railing. Same on this side. It's, um, I do believe it's a 5500. Not sure what this one, this one is. It's 5500 watt, I do believe. Let's look on the gas tank here. It's 55 advertised peak and 48 running watts. So you can get 48, 4,800 watts out of it. But I was, I've been having a dickens of a time finding a starter for it. Everybody, I ordered one, sent me one for a GX160. Um, these are Honda clones, by the way. Ordered another one, they sent me one for a GX 390 both one's too small and one's too large this is a GX 270 and um, same thing with carburetors you cannot use a GX 390 carburetor which they sent me on this engine it, it's the it just won't work the insulator in back is the little map, uh, trail where the the airflow is is different on a 390 and a 270, and uh, so is the size of the bore and a few other details. Um, the gaskets are a little different, and it runs, but you got to do that about more than three quarters choke you got to have it like that to where it will get it running so no all right but i do have the original carburetor and i'm cleaning it meticulously this tank here had one of those rubber grommets in it in the bottom and um maybe it was the supplier i got them from it said universal gas tanks uh, grommets or whatever fuel but anyways I went on the lathe and built my own from a bolt right up in there put a piece of uh, rubber gasket material between sandwiched it up inside the tank there is a if I can get the cap open hang on a second Looks like I gotta get me a new gasket for the cap too. 
Anyways, ah, you can't see it probably, but down in there there's a a nut that sandwiches between, and that nut is uh, stainless steel, so it won't rot out gas and stuff. I repainted some tins, the old uh, champion yellow, repainted the starter, and um, uh, had one of these uh, fuel shutoffs from another generator that I was going to fix that I found out the, had more issues than um, it was worth. Had a rod knock, really, had a, it was messed, messed ups, and um, just wasn't worth it. So, it was worth it to me for the parts, so that was one of them that I got with it and um, on the bottom of this tank I used some uh, um, heat shield it's stick on heat shield and sound deadener at the same time and it works great the bottom of that tank stays nice and cool all right and um, well this this was sitting flat on the ground so I decided I can't have that so I'm making a wheel kit and that wheel kit doesn't just have uh, those plastic bushings. You know, it's got, take this nut off. It's got uh, bearings. I put, I took it and milled them out, those plastic bushings out of there. The old mill and, and uh, put some bearing bearings in there so that it'll roll smooth. Then we built legs. For the front lots of shadows the sun's right out today pushing 90 degrees there's the legs that i built sorry about the diesel pig up there in the background but uh, those are our legs these things still in the rough i have not completed and nothing is in in stone yet but um we're gonna make us a handle or a get one probably gonna buy one because the material it takes to make this, I do I'll not have any, and they're only 20 bucks. So I'll probably just get one of those. And that's about the size of it. But it's it's gonna make a good it's a good generator for someone. Yeah, winter's approaching. And uh, we're gonna get some of these generators running that I can't use and somebody else will. And can when they're out of power their families will have some power this winter last year was epic you couldn't even buy a generator Lowe's was out Home Depot was out tractor supply continuous phone calls asking about generators anyways everyone was out even in Salem everywhere so I have more than I need getting them running and gonna sell them reasonably priced when the power's out help some people out that need them um, underneath there there's a bunch more we'll get them going you betcha this is gonna make a little a uh, nice size little you know a nice size one for for somebody I got a guy on interested in that Smarter, smart tools over there the first one I started and um, that little win is a great little generator if you just need a small amount of power that one there somebody might use it I'm throwing it up there it's uh, 700 continuous watts they, they're rated at 900 but 700 continuous but they all run good and uh, that's going off to the scrapper along with um, lots of other stuff around here. But anyways, let me turn you around here. Thanks for, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, right after this video, I'm going to throw up... Actually, I think I'll do the other one first, and I'll throw this one up after that. Uh, we're going to give some away. We're going to give a product away. So stay tuned for that. Um, actually... 
Yeah, I think I will throw this one up first. And then I'll throw the other one up. Stay tuned for that. That'll be coming today or tomorrow. All right. You take care. Today's Monday. You take care of yourselves. Love y'all. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.